Hey there guys, how are you? Welcome back to another awesome video. And let's talk about DC. Because not only am I a Marvel fan, but I'm a DC fan. So let's talk about what's in recent um recent been in recent news about DC, and that is the Suicide Squad that's coming out in 2021 and the Batman that's also coming out in 2021. So let's real quick talk about um, the, the Suicide Squad. I don't know why it's called The Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad 2, whatever the hell it's called. Because because right now DC's kind of going back and forth about, yeah, it's the sequel to Suicide Squad, but it's a soft reboot, I, I don't know. So let's go into like the back, let's go into like a backstory about this real quick. Um, so originally this was supposed to be Suicide Squad 2, right? So. It was originally going to be done by Mel Gibson, the guy who did uh, Hacksaw Ridge. So he was going to direct this movie. I was like, okay, sweet, cool, that sounds fine. Whatever like, whatever his script was, whatever it was going to be, who knows. So I guess they fired him, DC fired him, they kicked him out, and then they hired James Gunn. That's right, the guy who did Guardians of the Galaxy is now doing Suicide Squad. So he's kind of like, yeah, I'm basically, I'm basically in balance where I could do DC movies and Marvel movies. So... There's that, and he's teasing of a Marvel DC crossover, which I doubt, but anyways. So, he's doing The Suicide Squad, and at first I was like, okay, this is kind of a little bit awkward, because this was a while back, old news about James Gunn, and some weird, disgusting things about him, and all, but now that's kind of, I guess that's kind of been cleared, and, or something, where th that's just kind of like, that that's just done for. So... Now he's doing Suicide Squad, because Marvel fired him at first for doing Guardians 3, he went to go do DC, now he's come back to do both films, so that's why he's literally in that balance of doing both franchises right now. So, he's doing Suicide Squad, right? And, yes, he's doing Suicide Squad, that's right, Milo. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> so, um, he's doing that, and it's got a pretty big cast of, of, of uh, a lot of cast members and a lot of characters because I guess this is gonna be like a soft reboot sequel ish it's like it's like okay we're gonna have nothing to do with the first sequel Suicide Squad but yet it's gonna be a continuing I don't know but we still have Margot Robbie we still have Joe Kinman you'll still we'll still have Joe Kinman um and I guess Jai Courtney and a few other people but we got new people now we there's like talks of Michael Roker so Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy there's talks of uh I think it's like what was it? Not David Tennant. Um, David, like, uh, Chastelian or something like that. The Abracadabra from The Flash. Uh, he was in Ant-Man. He was in The Dark Knight. That dude. There's John Cena's involved. Idris Elba's in this. All sorts of actors were in this. And it sounds like a pretty great ensemble of actors. And I'm like, okay, I'm all, all, on, I'm on, all, I'm all on board for this cast. But I don't remember all the names. I'll put like I'll put like a picture of like the names and the cast members and stuff like that. The only thing is no Will Smith. Why? I don't know. Reasons I guess because they probably fired him just like they fired Ben Affleck <clears throat> and they fired Henry Cavill. <clears throat> I know I'm mad about that too. All right, just just keep your paws over there. So, um, anyways, so they got a good cast and everything and. So at first, I was like, okay, stellar cast. They don't say who's to be who. And there's also the, like, they've really put in a lot of characters. Like, we've got, like, not only are we going to see, like, characters, like, we're going to see Harley Quinn, we're going to see Boomerang, we're going to see Rick Flagg, we're going to see, like, Amanda Waller, we're going to see, like, just the characters we saw from the first movie. But we're also going to get some interesting choice of characters. Like, we got, like, things like, um... Like, we got King Shark, which is going to be cool. There's rumor of Bane maybe being in the movie. I I hope he does, honestly. And all this other stuff. And of all characters, we're going to have Polka Dot Man. I shit you not, there is a character called Polka Dot Man. Look him up, or I'll just put a picture right there. And there you go. So, there's that character, and the reason why I'm talking about the Suicide Squad is because they put set photos, and they kind of leaked, like, oh, the cast of who's gonna be who. So, we obviously know Margot's gonna be Harley again, we know Joel's gonna be Rick Flagg again, and then we have Idris Alva, and I'm like, alright, this sounds cool, maybe Idris might be replacing Will Smith as Deadshot, maybe he could be Bronze Tiger, a really cool character in the DC Comics that's kind of like an anti-hero. So that he would belong in the Suicide Squad. 
But he's but instead of making him this really cool character, they make him some obscure guy like the Mercent or the Mercenary or some crap. I don't remember. All I know is I'm like, really? I was like, you could have had him been someone cooler, like maybe Deadshot. I mean, he would be awesome as Deadshot. He would be hella awesome as Bronze Tiger, and especially Bronze Tiger is just a really cool dude. I like him. Uh, underrated DC antihero. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about another cat. Not you. I'm sorry. My cat's interfering here. But anyways. So they instead they're like, nope, we're going to make him this mercenary dude. And I'm like, this just mercenary guy? I just, no clue. I don't know about him. So I'm just like, all right. And then they have the guy, in the, um, David, I can't say his last name. I Like I said, I'll put the cast up on the picture, up on the screen here and there. Um, but David, I want to say his name's Chastlin, like someone with a C-H, he's going to be Polka Dot Man. And I'm like, that sounds ridiculous, but I'm down for it. But just, I'm just really curious with this cast of characters because they already have, like, they have him as Polka Dot Man. And I'm like, James, I'm thinking to myself, James Gunn, what, what are you thinking? Like, what are you smoking? Polka Dot Man? Like... I can't take that seriously, and I get it. He's gonna take. He's gonna make this like very lighthearted and make this like his like fourth attempt or third attempt at doing Guardians again. So that whole feel of like, hey, we're gonna have these really ridiculous characters that are gonna really be cool in the movie. And I'm like, sure, but Polka Dot Man, I I don't know honestly. I just don't know. And one other thing, I'm kind of really I want to complain about for a moment is that. You have Michael Roker, and he could have easily been King Shark, and that would have been so awesome. Instead, they have some other actor being King Shark, and I'm like, like, why? I'm like, you had a missed opportunity. You got the guy who was Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy. You could have had him as King Shark. That was the big, the big, big rumor with Michael Roker being cast in this, in this movie, and you didn't have him be a really cool character. He's just kind of like, I don't remember who he was, to be honest, but I'll put the name somewhere in there. So let's talk about the Batman. Now, I'm a big Batman fan. A lot of people love Batman. I'm definitely a big Batman fan. I like both Batman and Superman to clarify, okay? For their in, for their perspective from their different perspectives and their different comics and all that stuff. But point I'm trying to make is I'm a Batman guy. I like Batman. I know a lot of Batman stuff. I'm a huge fan of their a lot of the books they've made, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I don't know about this movie, to be honest. <laughs> Especially seeing the set photos now. I get it. It's um, the, um, the set photos of him riding on a motorcycle. It's supposed to be the stuntman. They're supposed to probably... That's in post-production and everything. But that doesn't look like Batman. That looks like stuntman. That looks like literally if Batman... Like, the character Batman had a stuntman. Like, every, like basically... Like, if Batman was to, like, be an actual character... Or be, like, a real-life existing person... That would be his stuntman. Like, literally, he would leave the, his stuntman to do all of his, like, high, high, high scheming, like, jumps and um, uh, combat and all these other things. Like, Batman just, like, like he's up on the high tower, like, up on, like, a building. And he's like, stuntman, do my thing. And he just has a stuntman do his stuff. That's what that look. that's what this picture looks like to me. If Batman had his own personal stuntman or just a stuntman. And it's just, it's silly. It's silly looking, honestly, because, yeah, we have, because we go from this, this red, like, uh, bat suit, like, teaser we had, and I'm not gonna lie, the suit looked good and all, it looks pretty dope, it looks like something out of Arkham, which is cool, I like the symbol, everything, the design's neat, I just, I can't get behind, number one, I can't get behind Patterson, Pattinson, and two, you go from this really cool suit to, like, stuntman here, like, Bat stunt guy, weirdo. So yeah, and I'm sure I'm sure he's probably gonna. I'm sure that this guy is gonna be is gonna do a great job as Batman. I just can't see it right now. Give me like a trailer or give me something where Patton is saying, "Hey, I can do a good Batman." Because right now, I don't like where this Batman casting is going. Honestly, there was so many other contenders that would have been perfect for the role better and had the better like structure and 
sounded like they would have been a better Batman on paper. Like, like real quick, I'm just going to say names. John Hamm, Jake Gyllenhaal, I would take Oscar Isaac, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Hell, even Ryan Gosling, and I don't see that happening. But I would have taken him. Um... Any other care? Any other actors like Scott Atkins, Sam Witwer? I can name a bunch, honestly. And maybe I'll do a top ten list. We'll see. Catch that later sometime. <laughs> but point I'm trying to make is there's other actors I could have saw in this role. Pattinson, I just I still can't picture. I'm sorry. Um, but besides Pattinson, the movie looks fine. I'm down for the rest of the cast. I mean, we have Jeffrey Wright from Watchmen, not Watchmen. Um, from uh, Westworld. Uh, being Commissioner Gordon, awesome. Paul Dano as Riddler, don't know the actor, but he sounds pretty cool. Zoe Create Crites, I'm sorry if I'm butchering last names today. Crites as so Zoe Crites as Catwoman sounds really good. Um, Colin Farrell as Penguin, I'm down for. I mean, Andy Serkis would have been better, but that's cool. Um. And speaking of Andy Serkis, Andy Serkis as Alfred sounds pretty awesome, but I just can't get around Pattinson right now as of just right now. I'm sorry, I know people are saying, oh, he did Lighthouse, he did this movie, he did that movie. I just, I can't get behind it. I really just can't right now. I'm sorry. I just, no. The dude just, <clears throat> can't just, I can't forgive him for Twilight. And the funny part is, I've never seen Twilight, I just know it's bad. I just hate it. It's just, it was poorly written and just poorly acted. So, and just sparkles, really? Just, no. So, I can't, I can't, I can't envision him as Batman. I really can't. I know he's trying to go for, like, this look of, hey, I'm Playboy. Like, look at my, like, ha like he's got the, the face look and all, but I just, I just can't see it. I really can't. So, that's it for for this video. What do you guys think of these these movies coming out in 2021? Are you excited for them? Are you not? What are your thoughts on these movies? What are your thoughts on the Batman movie? What are your thoughts on the Suicide Squad? The Suicide Squad? I don't know why it's called The Suicide Squad. It should just be just Suicide Squad 2 or just call it straight up just Suicide Squad different title? I don't know. So... Let me know in your comments down below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please smash the like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do awesome videos every day, if not every week. On top of that, make sure you ring that bell to be notified of new videos, new content, all that stuff. Uh, make sure to leave your suggestions. So that way, like, for any movies, any games, any top tens, any vlogs, anything like pot, maybe new, more podcasts, more... Um, all sorts of new things, comic reviews, more comic reviews, more vlogs, all that. Let me know down below because, like I say, I like I always say, I like to take your suggestions, um, and I will take requests um, anytime, any day. And I've gotten request movies already from like a, like literally one, two people. So I'd like some more suggestions so that way I can be like, okay, keep myself not busy. But keep myself in like in mind of like, okay, I'll do this for this person. I'll do that for that person. All these other things. So I have already suggestions from like a couple people. And I'll get to those momentarily. But I'm going to do a few reviews and do a few videos here and there. And then I'm going to I'm gonna do those requests soon. So I got a request to do a review for a cube. I will do that soon. I got a review, a review, a request to do a review of Face Off. I will do that soon. So just look out for those somewhere um, down the line. Uh, one real quick plug-in I'm hoping to do, fingers crossed, that next weekend is Onward. I'm really excited to see that, and I'm hoping to see that with my girlfriend because I'm going to take her to see this Pixar movie. It's going to be really cool. She likes Chris Pratt and Tom Holland. Um, I think this is going to be awesome for her. She loves fantasy. So um, can't wait for our 11-month anniversary. So, yeah. But look out for that. Hopefully, maybe I'll do a video, a review on Onward, once I can actually go see it next weekend. So look out for that, possibly. But I'll keep you guys posted on that and what's happening and all that. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.